Hey everybody, this is Mary. Welcome to my kitchen. Do you guys have that one friend who is just absolutely an amazing cook and you beg for the recipes? Well, I happen to have a friend who makes the best cobbler and she shared her recipe with me. So, I have got some mixed berries. I've got blackberries, I have black raspberries, and I had red raspberries. Okay, I'm gonna add sugar to them, and then we're gonna stir them all around until we get all the sugar mixed up. Then we're gonna set them aside and let all the uh, juices that's in there start to come out. Now we're waiting on the juices to come out and we'll start the rest of it. Okay folks, the uh, berries have been sitting for about 30 minutes and they've started to get really nice and juicy. So now we're ready to go on to the next step. Okay, I have my baking dish. I'm gonna spray it with a nonstick spray. Okay, first I'm gonna put my berries in here. Spread them out evenly. Do you folks love berries? What is your favorite berry? I think my favorite is probably the uh, wild black raspberry. That's what I grew up eating the most as a child, and that just that's what I compare everything to. Okay, now for the next step. We're gonna make the batter that goes on top of the cobbler, okay? I have flour, I'm using self-rising flour. And I have sugar. I'm just gonna mix that together. And that way, by mixing these two together first, before you add any of the uh, wet ingredients, you reduce the lumps that you get in your final uh, cobbler. Okay. So now, I have milk. And I have melted butter. Okay. I'm just going to mix this together. Stir it up really good. Now folks, don't worry about trying to get the uh, ingredients because I will give all the uh, ingredients in the uh, description box. So that makes it much easier to do that. Stir it up. This already smells so good. I've eaten cobblers different places, but my friend Jen's is absolutely the best. And I'm really glad that she shared her recipe with me. I'll tell you a secret, I made one last night. We ate it all at one time. So, it's excellent. Okay. I have my batter mixed up, so I'm just going to pour it over top of the berries. Okay. And we're going to put it in the oven, and I'll show you what this looks like when it comes out. Okay, folks, this amazing smell in my kitchen is driving me nuts. But, my cobbler is done. That absolutely looks amazing. As you can tell, the crust is done. We have the uh, berries bubbled up on the edge. Now folks, I'm not gonna take a bite of this right away. I don't wanna burn myself, but look at that. This is Jen's famous cobbler. Thanks a bunch, Jen. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. You have to give it a try because this is one of my absolute favorite desserts. 
Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a great day.